Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make this um, infant sweater dress. I made it long so it could be kind of like a dress. Um, I think I said in the video that it was for size 12 months and I still say that size 12 maybe even you could go make it a little longer make it for 18 months because I think it's nice and, and big otherwise maybe just a little longer for a little bit bigger of a, of a child. Um, you're going to need a good you're going to need 400 yards of yarn. I had two 200 yard skeins and I don't hardly have any left so it's going to take pretty close to full 400 yards. And then also you're going to need these little either of these little snaps little uh, for the back. I still got to sew mine on but they're these little snappies. You sew one on one side and then one on the other to hold the back shut or just a, a small button will work too for the back here. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay for this project I'm using Lion Brand Heartland. It's a four ply worsted weight acrylic. And I'm using a size I five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And you want to start off with a chain of 46. Um, this is going to be for a size about 12 months. I don't have the I don't have it figured out for anything bigger yet or anything. So uh, chain 46, and then on the second stitch from the hook, you want a single crochet, and then I'm going to single crochet every stitch for the length of the chain. One single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end. Okay, I just single crocheted in my last stitch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And I'm going to start working double crochet now. And since I didn't chain three and turn like we normally would for a double crochet, I just chained one. I'm going to go ahead and double crochet right here in this very first stitch. Normally we would come over here, but now we're going to come in this very first one and double crochet. That chain one does not count as anything. It doesn't count as a stitch or anything. So when we, when we chain one and turn, we always do our first double crochet right there in the very, very first stitch. So what we want to do now is we're going to put uh, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then we're going to do a double crochet decrease double crochet increase. So this counts as our first double crochet. We're going to go in the, in the next stitch and do another double crochet. So that's two double crochets in a row. The next one is going to be an increase stitch. It's going to get two double crochets in the same stitch. And now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one in that one, one in the next, and then the next stitch will be the increase stitch. It's going to get two double crochets in the same stitch. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. The next stitch is going to be an increased stitch, two double crochets, and the same stitch. And this is the pattern that we're going to repeat to the end of the row. Two double crochets in between each of the increased stitches. And you can see what I'm doing here. Here's the increased stitches, two in each stitch, and right here, and there's two double crochets in between. So I'm going to work this till I get to the end. I'm finishing up this last row here. And I'm going into my last stitch. My last stitch is an increased stitch. Like that. Now I want to chain one and turn. And we're going to be working directly in this very first double crochet. And I'm going to yarn over and double crochet in it. Like that. Now I want to do four double crochets in a row and then a double crochet increase. 
So that's my first one. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. There's two, three, four, and then the next stitch is going to be my increase stitch. I'll put two double crochets in it. Okay, and then I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then increase in the next stitch. And that is the pattern we're going to follow on this row. Four double crochets in between each of the increase stitches, all the way back to the end. Okay, I just finished that last row there, and again, I ended in an increase stitch. So now I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to double crochet right here in this very first stitch. like that and now I'm this time around I'm going to do five double crochets in between the increase so this is our first one this chain one that we do it doesn't count as anything so it you don't ever have to go into it or anything it's just a chain one to turn it doesn't count as anything I just wanted to tell you I didn't know if you were maybe trying to go into it or something but it doesn't count as anything so there's our first double crochet, so I'm going to go ahead and do more until I get to five. It's two, three, four, and five. And now I'm going to do an increase in the next stitch, two double crochets. In the same stitch. Now I'm going to do one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then an increase in the next stitch. So this is going to be my repeat for this row. It's five double crochets in between each of the increases. Okay, I'm coming to the end here. And in my last double crochet is an increase. So two double crochets. Like that. Now I'm going to chain one, turn, and again I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in the very first stitch, like that, and I'm going to do six double crochets in a row, and then a double crochet increase. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then my increased stitch of two double crochets in the same stitch. And that's the repeat this round. Six double crochets in between each of the increases. Okay, I just did my last increase there, my last stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn. Now this time around, it's going to be seven double crochets in between the increases. So we yarn over and go right into our first stitch. And we need to do seven double crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, Six, 
seven, and then increase in the next stitch. And then we do seven double crochets again in a row. And that's our pattern this time around. Seven double crochets, and then an increase all the way to the other side. Okay, I made it to the end of that row, and I just did my last increase and that last stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. This time it's going to be eight double crochets in between the increases. So go ahead and yarn over and go to that first one, double crochet, and I need to do eight in a row. And this is going to be the last row. After this we're going to do, I'm going to make the holes for the sleeves. So go ahead and do eight double crochets in a row and then an increase. And that's going to be the pattern for this round. So I'm going to go ahead and get this row done and then we'll start on the sleeves. Okay, now I'm going to make the arm holes. So you're going to need a couple pieces of yarn here. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to count from where I left off. Starting with the first stitch and I'm going to count over 18 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the 18th one, I'm going to stick my hook. You can use a, slip, uh, a marker if you want. But now I got it in the 18th one. Now I'm going to start on this one as number one again. And now I'm going to count 26 more. So starting with the one that your needle's in. Twenty-six. Go into the twenty-sixth one. And now what I do is I take a piece of yarn, pull it through both of them, and I'm just going to tie this. I'm going to take this off later, but I'm just going to tie it for now to hold it. Like that. So that's one armhole. Now I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to start and count, count over. 18 stitches. Start with my first one. Go into the 18th one. Now, starting with the one, the 18th one as number one, I'm going to count 26. that through that way. Now I'm going to tie this up so it doesn't come undone. I can undo it later though. Just tie it in a loose knot. Okay, now I'm going to start working where I left off. And instead of chaining one and turning like I did before, I'm just going to start working around the whole piece. So I'm just going to jump over here to the first stitch and slip stitch into it. Now my work's closed. I'm going to chain one, go back into the exact same stitch, and single crochet. Now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch around. So one in each stitch. Now 
coming up to my first uh, stitch mark here for my armhole. And when you look at it, you can see that my tie goes into this stitch right here. So I want a single crochet in that stitch. And then on the other side, look to where your the stitch where your tie goes into. That stitch right there. I'm just going to come on over and single crochet into that one. Like that. Now the armhole is closed up. And I'm just going to continue around, put in one single crochet in every stitch. And when I get to the other armhole, I'm just going to do the same thing I just did. And then working back around until I get back to where I just started. Okay, I made it back around with that row of single crochet. And if you did it just like me, you should have a total of 72 stitches. And you need to have that total for the cable stitches to come out right. So I counted mine. I'd go ahead and count yours too. And I do have 72. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and slip stitch in the first single crochet. Not that chain one. The single crochet. I'm going to slip stitch into it. Like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go back into the same stitch and double crochet. Like that. And then we got, remember that chain one does not count as anything. So that's one double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. And then I'm going to double crochet in the next. So that's three double crochets in a row. Now I'm going to skip three stitches. Skip, skip, skip. And I'm going to do, I'm going to front post treble crochet in the next three. So skip three and then the next one around the post. Right here's where we did the single crochet. Just go in between the single crochet and the double crochet below. And I'm going to triple crochet. like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing around the next stitch. Around that post there. And then I'm going to do it around the next one. So that's three triple crochet around the post, front post. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and work around triple crochets around the post of these stitches that we skipped starting with this one right here. So I'm going to yarn over and just back up and go around this one and triple crochet. One and then I'm going to go over the next one. Two, and then the next one. It's not hard. It's kind of awkward, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. Like that. And now I'm going to jump over here on top to the top of the next stitch and double crochet. So we went around the post of this one, so we need to go this one and double and then I'm going to double crochet in the next and then I'm going to double crochet in the one after that so that's what it kind of looks like and it's kind of the repeat now now I'm going to do this group again so I'm going to skip three stitches and I'm going to triple crochet around the post of the next three. So skip, skip, skip. And triple crochet around the post of the next three. 
There's one. Oh, uh, I skipped two. Try that again. Okay. So there's one. Two. And three. Then I'm going to go back it up and go around the post of the three that I skipped. Starting with the first one. You just got to kind of look and be careful where you're putting the stitches and make sure you're getting them in the right stitch. And three. Now I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. You just got to make sure you're getting them in the right spots. Other than that, it's easy. And double crochet again, three times in a row. So that's two and then three. Like that, and I'm going to repeat this group again. Skip three, and then skip, 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 triple crochet around the post of the next three. So there's one, two. three and back up and triple crochet around the post of the three we skipped three and I'm going to double crochet in the next one over here and the next and the next and then I'll start my group of triple crochets again so you just want to repeat that pattern all the way back around okay now I'm gonna chain one and go back in the same stitch and double crochet and then I'm going to double crochet on top of each of these double crochets from the previous round so that's three double crochets there and now I'm going to be working on this cable and I'm going to be working front post double crochets instead of triples and I'm going to start right here and I'm going to work one here, one here, and one here, and then three stitches, and then you work in these three stitches. So double crochet around the post of the first one, and then the next one, and then you gotta look for it, but the other one back here in the back, kind of pull it up. And go around the post of that and double crochet. And then we work in these three, starting with this one, around the post of them, double crochet. It's real easy. Just uh, make sure you're getting going in the right stitches and then just finding them. And then it's, it's pretty easy, you'll get the hang of it. 
and that's kind of, you can kind of see the cable kind of starting to take place, but a couple more rows you'll see it a lot better. Now I'm just going to put a double crochet on top of each one of these three double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and now I'm going to do the same thing with this cable front post double crochet. You can see these three in the back. That's what we're working in. But we're just doing it from the front if you split them out. Start with the first one and double crochet around the post, front post of them. Like that. And then these three in front. Just like that. And now I'm going to double crochet on top of these three double crochet. And then I'm just going to repeat this row all the way around back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around again. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet like that. Now what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be repeating them two rows that we just did. So I'm going to chain one and double crochet in the top of the first three double crochets. And we're going to start in these three right here because we're skipping these first three like we did before. And we're going to triple crochet around the posts of the double crochets right right here. Here's the triple that we did in the first round and these are the doubles that we did in the, the next round. So triple crochet around the post of the double part of it. that and then we'll back it up and we'll triple crochet around the post of these three starting with these start with the first one so it's like we did in the first row and I know it can get kind of confusing now you can start to see it a little better. Now we'll double crochet in the top of these, the next three double crochets. One, two, three. And then we'll do the same thing here. We're going to triple crochet around the post of the, skip these back three, around the post of these three that are sticking sticking out front. One, two, three, and then we back it up and we go around the post of the three that are behind back here. You see them right here. And that's the repeat, just this round, it's the same as the first row that we did. And we just want to repeat it all the way around until we get back to the beginning. After that round, we just slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet back into it just like we did before. And then we do one double crochet on top of these stitches right here. On top of these double crochets. So there'll be three in a row. And then we just repeat the those rows that we've been repeating. We'll do double, uh, front post double crochet around these three and then these three.
just like that. And then we go, when we get back around, we do the other row with the triple front post crochet. And then we go back to this row with a double front post crochet. And we just re keep repeating those two rows. And you just do that for you get to you get the dress as long as you want. But I am going to put a little bit of a um, finish on it, um, maybe an inch or so. So I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm going to do of the cable stitches. So I'm just going to continue working and then I'll let you know here in just a minute how many total rows I did. Okay, I went ahead and did 16 rows of the cable stitches and I ended, my last row was where we did the front post double crochet. But you can definitely do more rows if you want it longer. But now I just slip stitched into my first double crochet like normal. Now I'm going to do some rounds of single crochet at the bottom. So I slip stitched into that, now I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to go back into it and do a single crochet. Like that. And now I'm just going to work my way around, putting one single crochet in every stitch. Just like this. Almost done. <laughs> it's a little bit of work doing them cable stitches. But they're really pretty. So I'm going to continue around with my one row of double crochet. Or one row of single crochet, I'm sorry, until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming back up to my starting point after that row of single crochet. Now if you want to use a stitch marker right here you can because I'm just going to be doing rounds of single crochet. But I'm just going to jump over to the next single crochet and single crochet again. I'm going to take that out. I better use a stitch marker. I thought about it. I'll lose track. So I'm just going to stick a little piece of yarn here and now I'm going to jump over and single crochet in the next stitch. And now I'm just going to do a few rounds of one single crochet and every stitch just to make kind of a band at the bottom a little small band um, I don't know how many for sure I'm gonna do you can do it as many as you want but I'll let you know how many I do here in just a second okay I did six rows of single crochet you can do more or less and I made it back to where my stitch marker was so now I'm just gonna slip stitch into the next stitch and then I'll slip stitch again into the one after that and I'm going to tie off here and I'm going to hide all my tails okay I'm going to go ahead and I got one arm done I'm going to go ahead and start the other one here so I'm going to start right here where my tie is the two stitches that the ties in I'm going to go into the same stitch go through both of them that the ties in. And I'm going to go through and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same stitch, the same, those two stitches together and double crochet. Okay. Now I'm going to work my way around, putting one double crochet in each stitch like this so one double crochet in each stitch of the arm here until you get back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back here to the beginning after my first row on the arm hole. Now I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet, chain one, go back into the same stitch and double crochet again. And I'm going to get again, I'm going to go around and put one double crochet in each stitch.
just like that all the way around until we get back to the beginning again. I made it back around after my second row on the arm and again I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet and I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to do a double crochet decrease over these first two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over and go back into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and draw up a loop and I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops and I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two stitches and then yarn over and go through all three like that and now I'm going to work my way around putting one double crochet in each stitch until I get back to the last two stitches and I will do double crochet decrease over the last two stitches so I'm going to work my way around putting one in each stitch and I'll meet back up with you over here at the end Okay, I made it back and I have to my last two stitches and I'm just going to decrease, double crochet decrease over them. So I'm going to yarn over and go in to the first one, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two stitches, first two loops, yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, and then yarn over and go through all three, like that. Then I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet like that. Now I'm going to chain one and double crochet in the same stitch that I just slip stitched into and now it's just going to be rows of one double crochet in each stitch. And you need to have a total counting where we first started of 12 rows. So, just keep going around and slip stitching at the end of each row and then starting again. One double crochet in each stitch until you get a total of 12 rows. And you need to do both arms the same. I got my, I got my 12 rows done on my sleeve. One more thing I'm going to do is I just slip stitch into the top of my first double crochet. And I'm going to chain one and go back into the same stitch that I just slip stitched into and do a single crochet. And now I'm just going to do one single crochet in every stitch. Just like that. And then when you get back around you can just slip stitch like usual and then tie off and then you can hide your tails and stuff um you can untie this now you don't need it anymore a little string to hold it together so I'm gonna go ahead and get my arms all finished hide some tails okay that's that's it but one more thing I'm gonna do is on the back here I have these little clips I'm gonna use a thread and needle to sew them on that way it holds that back shut and if you don't have these a button will work too but they're just these little this gets sewed on one side right here and then this one on the other and they clip together you've probably seen them before I forgot what they're called but I'll probably put one here a couple of them right here and I'm just going to use a regular needle and thread, some matching thread. And if you don't have one, like I said, just use a button. I don't really have a matching button, but and you can just use this top double crochet as the as a whole. So just like sew it up here and it'll cross over. So that way that back will stay shut and that's not flaring open on them. And that's it. I'll probably just do that off camera though. Um, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you were able to follow along, okay? I hope I explained these cable stitches, okay, that you were able to, to get it down. Um, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials, too, and please come check me out on Facebook, and until next time, have a good day.